I have not seen him. Uh, I've not seen it. I don't know. I mean, it's a very dark version. You know, I have mixed emotions about it. Jim Carrey hasn't watched Paul Dano's very sinister take on the Riddler in The Batman, but the man who played the role in 1995's Batman Forever certainly had a lot to say about it to Unilad. There's a, a spot of worry in me about, you know, gaffer taping people's faces and like encouraging people to do the same. But he does want to be clear that he's not knocking Paul Dano. I love him as an actor. He's a tremendous actor. But yeah, this version of the Riddler is very violent and his own depiction of violence has been something that Jim has been very conscious of throughout his career. I do have a conscience about the things I choose and, and uh, you know, Robotnik has, you know, cartoon bombs and no one gets hurt. But Jim also recognizes tweets their own. I know there's a place for it and I don't want to criticize it, but it's not, it's not my kind of thing. Yeah, I don't even know how you begin to compare <laughs> Jim Carrey's Riddler to Paul Dano's Riddler. It's so different. Like I said with the Batman, it's more like a, a crime drama, like a mob, a mafia movie than it is a superhero movie. So it's really hard to compare them. And even Batman Forever was very heightened, kind of over the top, very flashy in the colors. So it's very different. Um, I get what uh, Jim Carrey's saying. Like we always worry with that a little bit with these depictions of these villains. Um, and the, you know, the grand schemes that they have. But I just wish that Jim had seen the movie before he made all those comments. Not that he's off base, but just like, shouldn't you at least see this movie before you make all those comments, Jim? But yeah, what do you think of Jim's comments about Paul Dano's Riddler?